What's going on YouTube? My name is Ray and I'll be taking x-rays. Special shout out to all my freshmen out there. This video is for you as we'll be going over positioning on the foot and ankle. I know the anxiety and the stress levels at our all time high, but don't worry, it will get better. Trust me. For some of you, this is uncharted territory, but all that means is it will take a little bit more time to adapt and adjust. And yes, I know this may be a simple exam to most, but there's some out there that may find it difficult and need to see a little bit more times to build their confidence up. So here it is. And even if you think you got it down, there is always room for improvement, especially if you're still just a freshman. Stick around and you might learn something to make these exams that much more efficient. But first, intro. <laughs> My name is Ray, I'll be taking your x-rays. We're looking at your foot, correct? Yes. All right, right foot? Yeah, my right one hurts. All right, perfect. So um, we're just gonna bring your legs over and then we're gonna have your right foot flat on this board like you're stepping on it, okay? okay. Kind of bring it close to you there, good. And then it's gonna bring your foot over right there, great. Don't move it. All right, just hold still there. Do you have any questions? No. All right. Good. All right, hold still. All right, keep your foot flat on that board. I'm just gonna tilt your foot away from me. So I'm just gonna kind of lift this up, but keep your foot on that board, keep going. Good, hold still there. Good. Okay, continue to keep your foot on that board, but we're gonna drop your knee all the way down to your right side. We're gonna do a side view of your foot. And then you may kind of have to rotate your hips a little bit for that. There you go, keep that right there. I'm gonna bring this over a little bit more and then bring this knee a little bit down. Good, hold still right there, please. Great. All right, that is it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, right, so my name is Ray. I'll be taking your x-rays. We're looking at your uh, right ankle, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, uh, how do you bring your legs right over? You're gonna be on your back, and then just extend your leg all the way out for me. Good, just like so. I'm gonna slide this board under you. Good, I'm gonna roll this up a little bit. And then we're just gonna bend your foot towards your knee. Keep going if you can, a little bit more. Good, there you go. And I'm just gonna rotate your leg. Good. You can kind of bring it up more a little bit. Good. All right, hold still there. Okay, keep your foot still. It's gonna rotate it just a little bit to your left. Right there, good, hold very still there. Okay, continue to keep your leg on that board, but we're just gonna rotate your leg all the way on its right side. So kind of rotate your hips if you need to. There you go, good. Hold very still there.
All righty, all done. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, my name is Ray. I'll be taking your x-rays. We're looking at your foot, correct? Yes. All right, right foot? Yeah, my right one hurts. All right, perfect. So um, we're just going to bring your legs over, and then we're going to have your right foot flat on this board like you're stepping on it, okay? So my instruction that I found to work out the most, and believe me, I tried everything. Put your foot on the board, the bottom of your foot on the board, put your foot flat on the board, etc. The one that I found out to work the most is put your foot flat on the board like you're stepping on it. Nine times out of 10, they put their foot flat on the board like they're stepping on it. Kind of bring it close to you there, good. And then it's gonna bring your- In most cases, when positioning a body part, you do not want to touch the part that is hurt, the, uh, the area of interest. So I instead maneuver the foot from the lower leg around the calf. Great, just hold still there. Do you have any questions? No. I'll nudge their knee interiorly at times to get their foot flatter on the board. Alright, hold still. Alright, keep your foot. I remind my patient to keep this foot on the board. If you don't, a lot of times for whatever reason they move their foot off the board. To get the foot oblique, I angle it by moving the knee inward and lightly touching the lateral side of the foot to encourage the movement. Okay, continue to keep your foot. On Again, I remind my patient to keep their foot on the board, and then I tell them to drop the knee to the side because we're about to image the side of their foot. I also let them know to rotate their hips as most patients are not that flexible. This then gets them into a sloppy lateral. I put my hand on their foot and use my other hand on their knee to angle the foot until my hand on their foot is perpendicular to the, to the image receptor. I'll also get their foot going the length of the image receptor and I'll turn the tube to go in the length of the image receptor. That way there is no need to uh, rotate and post. All right, that is it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so my name is Ray. I'll be taking your x-rays. We're looking at your uh, right ankle, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, uh, how do you bring your legs right over? You're gonna be on your back and then just extend your leg all the way out for me. So my instruction that I found out to work the most here is extend your leg all the way out. I then rotate my ankle by maneuvering the leg away from the ankle around the calf, like I mentioned. If possible, I'll dorsiflex the foot so we can open the tibiotalar joint. And I'm just gonna rotate your leg. Good. Collimation and central rate placement here can be kind of misleading as they tell you in Merrill's to aim between the malleoli. However, if you do this, you get a lot of the foot and not enough of the ankle. So I aim about two inches above. Okay, keep your foot still. I tell my patient to keep their foot still because I still need to keep that dorsiflex position for the oblique. 15 and 20 degrees is just a slight tweak. Very still there. Okay, continue to keep your leg on that board, but we're just gonna rotate your leg all I tell my patients to rotate their leg all the way on its side and even tell them to rotate their hips if they have to. Alrighty, all done. Thank you. Alright, thank you. To fix your lateral repeat, Understand this concept. If the fibula is too anterior, then external rotate the leg, or you can think backwards to move the fibula more posterior. If the fibula is too posterior, then internal rotate the ankle, or you can think upwards to move the fibula anteriorly. Remember, repeats happen. Not everyone in anatomy is the same, but what makes you responsible and what separates you from a bad tech is that you know how to fix your repeat on the first try. And you know how to fix it, not guess. If you found this video helpful, 
Press that like button, subscribe for my expert content, and share this video with others who may find it valuable. By doing this, it supports the channel tremendously by recommending it to others in your same shoes. Visit xrayray.com to get your technique card when you need a ballpark technique in the clutch. And please remember that I am still a full-time tech, so unfortunately, I'm not able to make all the videos that you guys recommend. However, I do have free time during the week, during the weekend, that you can schedule your one-on-one -on -one time with me if you need some advice, personal help, and even some help with positioning. So all my first-year students out there, the, the ones that are struggling or having those sick thoughts that are going on in their head, tell them to quit. Remember that you did not get this far to get this far. You did not get this far to quit. In the end, everything will be great. If it's not great right now, then it's not the end. You have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray, and I'll be taking your x-rays. I love, baby. Peace.